So here we are, we're um, doing our annual trip down to, down to Wales, do some fishing, do some being in the raining, bit of driving, bit of fooding, go to the lovely cafe, yeah. bit of beering. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. I need a holiday. Um, Dean needs a holiday because yeah. he's slowly turning into a cowboy. <laughs> Which is great. Amen, we're um, we, we're just leaving now. We're just in Oxfordshire, unfortunately. I think we all know my opinion of Oxfordshire. Uh, we're just driving down. Don't know what's going on. The weather's crazy. It's cold and wet, but it's also sunny and warm at the same time. There's rainbows and there's unicorns and all sorts of stuff. That you've actually turned into a weatherman now. I haven't. <laughs> yes, you have. No, I haven't. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you call me a weatherman? Update. We have found an Asda, which is not an Asda, it was several Asdas in one. We got some so, fuel after not having any. Yeah, as usual, every single time that we always go out. So, oh yeah. Hold the camera got, steady. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just showing the guys and girls at home and abroad the uh, the corn you bought. Like the, like the massive shelf of corn. Um, anyway, that's better. I'll focus on Dean's face. Yeah, we went to an Asda and it's like, right, five Asdas in one. So you go into the main bit and there's a bit for the pharmacy and it's stupid. They've also got a McDonald's upstairs, the toilets were all locked. We walked down the wrong stairs, we got lost, we couldn't find the sandwiches, we found Basically the sandwiches. We spent an hour there doing nothing. But yeah, we did. So, I hope this sun stays around for tomorrow. The thing is as well, Matt, because um, it, it's lighter at night now, so we'll um, be there like at like half ten and it'll still be light. Hope so. Like pretty sunset. There we go. That's beautiful. Very nice. Sunsetting. Yeah. in the van, not on the grass. That would be very silly. Right, now on the way. It's very it's early, it is. It's too early. You see that? It's, that's my watch. It's too early, it's like a pig's tail. It's too early. It's way too early. It's curly whirly. We drove around a bit last night looking for somewhere to sleep for about half an hour, 20 minutes, and we just thought, sod it. Just pulled up on the side of the road, which was lovely. What? Yep, that's good. We're here now. Yep, we're ready. We've got. <laughs> we don't have a bed ready. That sounds terrible. But we have the rods ready. Don't know where Dean's put rods on the spine. Put them at the top. Yeah, they're all on the bed. Oh, I can see them. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully, as we come down, we're trying to get into the campsite now, so um, we can wash and clean up. So here we are, we've arrived in Cla Cla Caraguay, Caraglide, whatever it's called, campsite. Caraguide, yeah. It's just after eight in the morning, we're very early, and this is all very familiar to me, because it's where we stayed last year. It's very nice. Lots of hidden bits. That's actually um, the, oh. the road there as well. Yeah, that's right, that's right. As we come down to the bit where we stayed before. Oh, it's full, she said it's full. Yeah, look. No. It's not full. It's not what I call, would you? Ladies and gentlemen, would you call this full? Well, it's full down here, boys. Absolutely full. Maybe she means this little corner. Yeah, I think that's what she means. 
meant, yeah. But, yeah, that's all right. See from the pit. Yeah. Where are you going to pull up, legs? I don't know, to be honest. I could pull up just right there. Yeah, it's a bit close. Now it's lovely, blows room, isn't it? Yeah, everybody else Right, right by there. their toilet. Is it? Yeah. Right, okay. Um, we'll go up there in the corner instead of saying. Or like, out, like, central here. Yeah, you can do that. You can go wherever you want. We did. But then again, we came out of season, it was, look at the lovely rocks. Lovely rocks, lovely rocks. Uh, they're all full of um, other stuff now. What's that? Well, last time we came up, they were all bare. As if all the grass had gone as well. Hello, Glendike. Hey. How are you? I'm good. You all right? So this is uh, the ruins of the old salt mill or factory that was here, right on the beach. And um, it's a secret tunnel that goes underneath, all the way through the hills, up to the top, above there, where I'm pointing. And um, that's where the smugglers' cave is, which we'll see later. And they used to um, go into that cove there and bring all the stuff through and store it in this, in this house here, which is pretty cool. We're standing on Port uh, Enion Point, and what appears to be a pirate ship. Da, da, do, 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 do. I don't know if I can see that in the mist. I shall attempt to zoom. Do, 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 do. There he is. It's one old Willy submarine. Because you know, times have moved on since the 80s. Can't have a pirate ship anymore. It's, um, it's uh, electrical powered. Used to be diesel. And if you look up there, that is one eye Willie Stone that says, I have the key to one eye Willie. So wouldn't that be Chester Copperpot Stone? Chester Copperpot. Chester Copperpot. <laughs> Oh, you've ruined in, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. In search of <laughs> local legend. Exclusive scavenger claims. I have the key. I have the key to one-eyed Willie. Mare. You goonie. came from up above and then came down these rocks climbed over all this stuff found the cave you can see how rocky it is down here One eye Willy. Nice climbing frame, Willy. Nice climbing frame. Oh, hope you put the kettle on when I get back down, Willy. I can tell you something. I'm going to need a cup of tea, Willy. <laughs> Big cup of tea. Oh.
moving. Yeah. That's the path, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're all right now. We've just been, been through a massive climb all over the craziest rocks. Seen the wind blowing all the foam over? It's got absolutely blasted by it. Oh well, we tried. We tried. Here we are, we're leaving Camera Glide now. I'm really grumpy and tired because this man snored like a wild wildebeest last night. Yeah. Kept oh, me up. Sorry. Kept me up for six sorry. six hairy hours of death. Which was not fun. And I'm very sorry. <laughs> right, we have just left Camera Glide campsite. We've had our captain's table meal. Um, got very nice and drunk last night down at the pub. What Dean means is Dean got very nice and drunk. Very drunk. Yeah. And went to sleep and snored for six hours. Well, all night, but kept me awake for six hours. It was stormy last night. Really so, stormy. So I, I went and went, stood out in the rain because it was better than listening to Dean snore. He kept me up for six hours, stole my covers. Yeah, it wasn't great. But I'm a bit grumpy now, but I'm okay. I 
I've had a coffee and I've had some food. And I should probably be okay in a bit. And I'm sunburned, which is lovely. Which is lovely. Which is lovely. Oh, and we went fishing this morning and I, I fell over. I said to Dean, oh my God, I've nearly fallen over about five times and then I fell over. In a big pool of water, got my jeans soaking, cut my elbow, landed basically on my bottom and slid into a pool of water. Bounced off my arse into a pool of water. Poor Matty, I watched the whole thing. Dean watched the whole thing and said, Matty, you are right? And then stood there. It didn't come to my, my aid like some kind of Baywatch thing. So <laughs> climbed climbing over the rocks and I expected more from young 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 paraglide. The young paraglide is uh, profusely sorry. Oh wow. And yeah. We met some people in the pub last night, they were cool, they were doing some stuff. Told us where the fishing was. They did tell us where the fishing was. His name was Paul. I yep. thought I looked like said from Police Academy. I won fifty quid on the freak machine. So it was all right. Dean won five pound on the quiz machine, and before I won the fifty quid, I won a tenner on the fruit machine. So all good in the pub. All good in the pub. All good in the hood. When I get back home tonight, I'm going to have a pint. Well, I'm not going to have a pint because I haven't got a pub in my house, but I'll have a I'll have a couple of beers. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull my trousers up. One second. Oh, that's that's more comfortable. I'm showing some knees now. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a lovely one. How is Carrick leg anyway? He's all right. Good after having the uh, the breakfast. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, going to sort us out and get us a bit of uh, energy for the day. Getting home. Uh, yeah, he's had a lovely time. Um, and uh, look forward to the next. Unfortunately, though, he didn't get any fish. But no, he didn't. He had fun trying, as well. We did have fun trying as always. Never mind. Never know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to drive across the bridge back into England and we're going to go to the garage and get some yummies. yummies. Yay. Good evening. <laughs>